Welcome to another episode of Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth. And this is a continuation from my last video where I talked about sidechain compression on this reggae track. So if you recall, um, what I did in that one was that I, I maximized the low end between the bass and the, the bass guitar and the kick drum. And so basically I was able to attenuate the bass ever so slightly every time the kick hit so that it gave space for both. And um, here's another trick that I think can take that to the next level, um, is this Sound Radix Surfer EQ version two. And if you're unfamiliar with this EQ, it's, it's a powerful tool. Um, it's not an EQ for everything because it, it doesn't necessarily always work properly, but I love to use it for bass. And what this does is it can track the frequencies and note values. So for example, like, you know, if you've ever played a bass guitar or just mixed one, it, you know, the, the, the low end is fundamental on different notes. So depending on the, the, the note that you're hitting um, or the chords or whatever, the, the low end comes out less powerful or more powerful depending on what the fundamental is of that track. And this helps with that. So for to kind of help wrap your mind around it, um, just an example here is say, you know, I might want to boost some frequencies here around 73 hertz. But say for when, when it goes up to a different note on the song, that low end is a little less powerful and the fundamental frequency is actually a little bit lower or a little bit higher. So what the Surfer EQ does is it tracks that and it actually moves the peak to follow the notes. Okay, so um, I'll show you what's going on here. And this is really powerful. It's got a, f a filter here, high, high pass filter. So I'm going to let a little low end be filtered out, not too much. I'm gonna set this at 73. Um, I'm gonna do a slight cut around 170. And I'm turning off the surf mode to start because I want you to hear what it sounds like before I turn that on, okay? And then I'm doing a slight boost around 428, okay? So, um, and I have the bandwidth adjusted accordingly. And as you can see here, it's really gentle. It's not like a GML type EQ or something where you can get a super tight cue. This is more of a musical EQ. Okay, so just take a listen to this without any EQ. All right, and so this is where we left off with the last video. So pretty nice, right? So let me engage the EQ and let you let you hear that. I'll, I'll let it uh, go through one one round and then I'll engage it. So it just you know gives a little more power to the um, to the low end. So let me leave it engaged and I'll let it go through a couple rounds and just take a listen to how it sounds when it changes chords and whatnot. Okay, so if you if you watched this. Uh, this window here, you could see where the fundamental notes are changing. Some of them start here and then it goes here depending on the notes he's playing. So let me engage these into surf mode and I'll play it again for you. See, so when you go to that low F, this 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 followed way down there. So as you can imagine, um, just a, a, an EQ isn't intuitive or powerful enough to really, you know, enhance everything with without having this automated kind of surf feature. And this is really cool for the bass because it lets it kind of float, so it keeps like the the fatness consistent throughout the whole song. 
And so let me go ahead and bypass this for a little bit and then I'll engage it so you can hear bypassed and then engaged with the surfer function on, okay? Okay, so as good as it was with the sidechain compression in, this EQ just brought it to another level where it just, it, it just added another level of dimension to the bass and just made it fat and dimensional. And that's what you want. And um, this was all achieved without having to really push faders and battle volume. This is just like, you know, EQing and just finding a proper relationship. Okay, so... Hope this was helpful. Um, you know, feel free to experiment with this EQ on different things. There's some instances where it works great on vocals, but other times it kind of sounds funny. Um, I've had great results using this on organ and synths and stuff like that. Uh, it just works really cool and it does the same thing where it just gives this kind of depth and dimension to it. Um, so yeah, check it out. Please subscribe to the newsletter on my website, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll check you out next time.